In this video, I'll show you how to create this widget UIs in PenPod, or you can call this smart watch UIs as well. Let's create this dashboard first. So I'll first copy this here. Now select the board tool. You can press B on your keyboard and make this 320 by 320 and give it a blue background. Now let's create the text. I'll say 30 million. I'll give it a fill color of white. I'll make this around 56. And I have inter tight of 600. I'll control D to duplicate this. And I'll name this monthly active users. I'll give it a 500 and about 20 pixels. I'll reduce the opacity to around 70%. I'll edit this. When you select and press Alt, you can see the spacing between the board and the text. Use your arrow keys to adjust. I'll make it 20 and around 16 on the up. So we have it like this. Now let's create a rectangle and give it a 20 pixel. Now I'll make this around 30 and I'll give it a linear gradient. Select one stop and make it white and the other stop and make it white but transparent. Let's take it slightly upwards, around 20 pixels from the bottom as well. Control D to duplicate. You can place it here. Now you can select both by pressing shift and right click and add a flex layout. Now if you duplicate these rectangles, it will be arranged in a row. If you want, you can make it a column, but we need a row. And I'll give it a gap of around 10 pixels. I want to select this again and I'll make it aligned to the bottom and resize this. I'll give this a green color just to make it pop. And I'll reduce the opacity of the other ones a bit. Now select the board and move it upwards a little bit and select this and control D to duplicate. And let's make this around 14, 300. Control D to duplicate. Select both and add a flex layout. Now duplicate this again and again. I'll give it a suitable gap. When you select a board and press enter, you select all their children. Now let's reduce the width to around 36 and select the parent again and I'll make this around 12, 13, 12, yeah. You can see we have a UI for the dashboard. Now let's create the UI for the battery widget. I'll copy this for the sake of reference. I'll duplicate this board, control D and press enter to select all the children. And delete now I'm going to give this board a dark color I'll just create the text using the text tool let's say 75% and I'll make it around 120 place this in the center of the board Control D to duplicate I'll make this a simple 16 pixels and I'll give this double click to edit and I'll give this a percentage symbol zoom in now let's place it here and select the path tool. Now draw along the borders. Now add a fill and remove the stroke. Let's give it a green color and reduce the opacity to around 10%. Now send this backwards. You can double click and adjust this if you want a smoother curve. Let's create another text. I'll center this and make it lighter. Give it around 80% of opacity. Now go to this website and you can select any icon you want and paste it directly on PenPod. And I'll copy this icon, Control V to paste it. Now copy this color and paste it here. Now I have a battery icon as well. I'll give it as 80%. Use your arrow keys to place it correctly. You can resize it if you want. Now select both by holding Shift, Control G to group it. Now center it. Control click. Now Control D to duplicate. Now get it to the bottom and I'll add another icon control V now change the color I'll give it a yellow 
and center it so now we have the charging ui if you want you can select both boards and give it a border radius keep it 12. now let's design this audio recorder i'll paste it here for reference Control d to duplicate this press enter to select all the children now press delete now we have the board let's change this color to a yellowish orange first of all select the rectangle tool press r for the keyboard shortcut i'll have a width of around 12 and a border radius of 20 and i'll make this white color or maybe i'll just reduce it to around 10. now Control d to duplicate this now select both by holding shift and add a flex layout now you can duplicate this again and again now it will arrange in a row give it a gap of six pixels now make it centered on the horizontal axis and centered on the vertical axis select one i'll delete this i'll delete another one now place it in the middle of the page middle of the board now what you can do is adjust the height of this now use the path tool and create a line press shift to lock it to the horizontal axis press center now we have a stroke i'll give this a width of two and i'll make it dotted and i'll make this white and reduce the opacity to around 60 percent and this one to around 90 percent make this four and i'll center it on the board and select the text tool and let's give it a timer now go to the icons website again and search for the stop sign now press, press shift and resize this and I'll center this on the vertical axis. I'll make this around 60 and I'll use the arrow keys to adjust the position. Now we have the recording UI. I'll copy and paste it here. I'll hide this for in the meantime. Duplicate this. Press enter to select all the children. Delete. Now give it a purple color or whatever color you like. Now for this halo effect draw an ellipse place it in the middle now create a stroke and remove the fill let's make this a big stroke 30 pixels and i'll give this a radial gradient and i'll make this white both stops white hold alt and shift and resize this now we have a halo effect i'll just keep this for now let's create a podcast widget now you can duplicate this and press enter to select all the children press delete now just give it a white color and you can go to unsplash i'll copy the image and paste it here and i'll resize it and frame it like this on the board now for the image select another fill and make this a black color and let's reduce the opacity we do this because we won't be able to see the text if we don't have a dark background so i'm giving this around 30 percent now let's create the text and i'll give it around 32 pixels or maybe 24 and change its color and i'll use this previous board to see, create the icon Control c Control v press k so we will be scaling this down now you can press escape let's create another text and I'll add a auto height and select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. I'll send this backwards. A linear gradient. Adjust the opacity and I'll make this full to the side. Align it to the side and the bottom. Press shift to bring it straight down. Now we have the transcription. Now duplicate it again. Type something and make it auto width now place it here reduce the opacity so that it gives the illusion that the person is talking up to this point so that's how you create these ui widgets in penpot hope you learned something new thank you for watching